We're talking about operating pressures of 100 bar plus, steam temperatures of several hundred degrees, and we can all imagine what will happen if worse comes to worse and if we have an explosion, nothing that we want to happen. During this week of outage, we are 1,100 people or contractors uh, within the area, uh, additional to our 300 setup personnel. And uh, of course, many of the challenges that we are doing here is uh, very specialized mechanical problems. So we need highly skilled personnel to uh, take care of them. We have a team of highly specialized pressure part welders, skilled and trained riggers doing all the hauling and rigging works that's required. Safety officers uh, used to work in, in recovery boilers. Everything is of course uh, governed by method statements and risk assessments made prior to the works, strictly following well-established procedures that we're having. I mean, we have to keep in mind that we work in an environment with corrosive media, high temperatures, high pressures. I would say that if there is an operation that we can't do in a safe way, then we simply don't do it. The hardest thing is always tough schedule for us. And we have many other external people working for us also. So it's a lot of coordination and so on together to get it going the correct way. Valmet works with something called the annual clock and the benefits with that is that it gives a very systematic way of planning and executing the outage. So we have a very specialized team covering all aspects, both process design, pressure parts, construction concepts and fabrication and of course site operations. My site team is handpicked by me. They have to have the right documents, the welding certificate for the material we're going to weld. They need to be good at their work. They're all very experienced, very good mechanics and welders. I've been working with them uh, all over the world. A good welder is crucial to the shot, because if they're not fast enough, if they're not good enough, you have to do it one more time. And if you can't do it right the first time, then you have to do it twice, so. In practice, we, we talk to the customers before we arrive. We have meetings before we arrive. When we arrive, we have meetings and uh, security checks. And then we have a meeting before we start to work to see that the machine is locked out. Of course, there are costs with an outage like this, but in the long term, we will uh, get a nice payback because if we run the mill at longer periods of time, we will get in trouble. And those kind of troubles are the ones that we are taking care of during this outage. Valmet works very closely with the customers, so when the outage is done, uh, we typically have a lessons learned meeting the week after the outage, where we go through the inspections that were done, the work that was done, and we already then start planning what we need to do the next year. We have a long history here working with Valmet, and uh, I always have positive things to say about Valmet. So it's a good co company to cooperate with. By using Valmet for your maintenance shutdown, you can minimize the outage time and we can give back the boiler to the customers so that they can do what they are best at, producing pulp.